All right, so good afternoon. We'll start the lab session. Okay. Yes. Uh, we'll see how to use Capstone software to uh, to do the turning operations through which uh, the automatic program has been generated, where we'll be giving only the uh, a diagram of the part that. Uh, that is required, okay, and all other uh, uh, information to the system. Right, so yes. So the, uh, we've already seen this capstone operation and other things. So we'll go to this. But before this, today's problem will be taking up this particular one. Okay. Uh, yes. Okay, yeah, so yes. So problem number six from the manual. Okay, that is on page, uh, page number 50. Okay, right. So here, uh, if you look at this diagram, it's uh, it's called, there's a six mm uh, diameter of uh, hole that has been done for 10 mm depth. There's a threading of M20 to 1.25 as the pitch. And there's a grooving portion over here for a width of 10 mm and another groove for another 10 mm over here. Uh, and subsequently, the other uh, length and the overall length is 90 mm, right? So maximum diameter, if you look over here, is 35. Okay, and the grooving portion is, it is 30, right? So M20, so thereby this diameter will be 20 mm over here, okay. And this, if you reduce it over here in the first groove, it will be for uh, 15 mm. Okay. So yes, we'll go to capstone, uh, double click on that icon, create a new part. Yes. Yes, create a new part. Yes, now we'll uh, enter the other details. That is the raw material. Then uh, the outer di diameter clearance, other things. Just a second.
Yeah, sorry, there's a department call. Okay, let's continue. Okay, so we'll go to the simulation. Yes, so we'll give uh, the material, uh, the raw material. Yes, job portion. The overall length was 90 mm. So we'll give the job portion for another 20 mm extra. So 110 minus 110. Yes, clearance from set 1 mm. Outer diameter. That is the raw material dia. Thirty-six. Yes. Now we'll go to line or multi-line option. The first coordinate will be zero comma zero. So then it was a vertical line for a diameter of twenty mm. So here, since we are doing it only on one half of the horizontal axis, so we'll give ten comma zero. Now we are, you can zoom in to see it clearly. Okay, the next coordinate just for about uh, 30 mm along the z-axis so it will be 10 comma minus 40 just for 40 mm then there's a groove depth uh, for uh, 5 mm so the diameter from 10 will be reduced The, we can use the groove option or we can use uh, line options itself to continue to make it a one continuous stretch of lines. So groove depth. Three. And uh, the width should be for 10 mm. We can place that. Require quite so it will be ten comma minus one. Continue the continue to draw the remaining portions of the part. Fine. Next will be after this there'll be an inside line. So we'll give that coordinate. Then we have a groove, second groove over here. So we'll give the depth, which is totally it was for 5 mm reduction from the diameter. So it's going to be half of the 2.5. So if you made any mistake in joining it, you can erase it and Redraw it once again. Two point five width was ten mm. Coordinate will be the coordinate value of the, uh, for the end of this line. This is fifteen point five minus eighty. Seventy. Seventy. Sorry. Now 
Select the cutter and save it. Go to define part. Yes, now go to define the blank. Give the overall length of the blank. So 125. Diameter. Since we are drawing only one half of it, give the uh, half of the diameter, which is 90. Once you go to machining tab, yes, you can see the entire part in line mode. Now click on tools, the required tooling operation. So first one will be in the facing external turn, PCLNL. For uh, so facing operation, Let's turn the corner, the green line, and the other end till where the tool has to approach. This is a plain face, you'll get this window. Safe approach distance, let it be 2, comma 2. Finishing allowance, since it's facing, you can give it. Till it's required. So we go for finish facing. Finishing allowance in X and Z will be zero. This will go for plane turning. And that is, uh, we'll choose the contour turning op uh, option. Safe approach distance is 2 comma 2. Finishing elements, you can do 0.5 or 0.2. I mean, in both X and Z coordinates. Depth of cut, calculate the depth of cut that is required. That is the maximum diameter minus the minimum diameter. Total depth over here. to shaping, uh, sorry, a grooving tool. Ensure that the width and uh, 
cutting depth uh, that it will can perform is sufficient enough. Now, yes, click on the grooving area first, that is the start and end point. Click on the line. So I've mentioned in the previous class, we have uh, can give a slab grooving or finish grooving, say for first distance. Yeah. And uh, the pick depth, that is by how much the tool has to be moving backwards after a particular depth of cut. The cutting method are mentioned below, that is plunge or deep groove or one way or two way. I have explained in the last class. So even now you can see if it is one way, the tool moves from left to right. If it is two way, as the tool goes for the depth of cut, and at the same time, the tool will also be moving from left to right and right to left uh, by removing the material. Yes, we'll go for the drilling tool operation. After this, so we'll go for drilling. Shows a drill bit of required diameter. The center drill will be like this drill, twist drill. Uh, the diameter was 6 mm. Drill diameter. Yes. So safe approach distance from Z, let it be at 2. That is, if you can see here. The drill bit will approach first up to the face of the uh, workpiece, but there will be a gap of 2 mm. Okay. And the hole that has to be drilled, hole depth is 10 mm indicated in the diagram. Okay, return set at 5. So now we'll go for threading operation. Threading. Select the tool. Yes. Now let us zoom in so that we can uh, select it correctly. So select the two ends uh, from where the thread has to start and end, or click on the line. So once it is correct, we will get this window. So whether it's a left hand thread or right hand thread, you can choose that safe approach distance of 2 mm. Yes, one over here is number of cutting pass. This so thread pitch, thread depth, all this data can be given manually, or else we can select this tab over here, select from standards. Right? So standard thread uh, uh, Threads are uh, details are present in it, so we can uh, select it from there. So it's a set of libraries for the different threads. So we'll go for metric thread 60. Okay, we had a pitch of 
So the moment we enter that, uh, we select that, the number of cutting passes, thread pitch, thread depth, all that will be taken care uh, where, where the data will be extracted from the library. Yeah. Oh, yes. yes. Number of idle passes, entry distance. So from what distance the tool should start the threading operation. So generally it's out away from the workpiece. So we'll give that up here as one or two mm. And now we'll go to tool path tab to see the simulation. If there are any changes, we can go back to that particular tab and make the required changes. Tall portion, you can make it for 100, minus 100. Get the CNC machine from the list and click on Okay, first save it. First save this. Then click on play. As you can see, the rough and finish facing operation being carried out. And it is being played. And then rough facing, finish facing. Next comes the grooving uh, tool. So you can see that it has been done using two way method. Just a second.
sorry sorry for the thing uh, uh, department work all right so we'll continue so here you can see that the grooving has been done by two way method and now the grooving tool goes to the next place where another groove has to be done so here if you look at the observe the movement of the tool it is using the uh, not using the two way method rather than that the plunging method has been used over here so this is basically to show how the tool uh, the grooving tool will perform its option uh, operation when we select different options drilling and the threading where you can see that as per the number of passes that was indicated the threading tool will do its operation for the required number of passes so if at all we can Want to make any changes? Yes, we can. Okay. Yes, we can also find out the cycle time that is required to perform to perform the operations for each operation, the cutting speed, time required uh, uh, for each tool to do its operation. And yes, we can see here. So once we over here, we click over here, we'll get the tool list. And the one next to that, we get the program number. And yes, you can see the program that has been automatically generated over here. Okay. You can save this. The notepad file or Also save the tool list. Yeah, 
Yes, you can yeah, get the spindle power graph. You can see the same thing on the layout sheet you can get and for it and see the same things with in the line mode okay the movement of the tool and the operations that will be carried out so the blue line represents over here when the cutting tool touches the workpiece and material is being removed the white dotted lines represent when the tool is does not touch the workpiece and uh, material is not going to be removed. So here we can see for each one of the tool, the operation, which tool has been used, the feed rate, the cutting speed, the depth of cut, and the depth of cut, the maximum in mm power required for for this operation, and so on, and the time that is required to do it. Right? So like this, we can get the money maker chart. So we've seen uh, about four to five uh, 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 demonstrations of using capstone uh, uh, capstone software uh, where we can generate the program automatically. Right? So in which we have cover cover facing, turning, finish turning, grooving, double groove, threading. And the drilling also, right? Okay. So, yes. uh, answer your attendance, uh, Niharika. Yes, sir. Okay, Nihar. Nihar Venkatsai. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, Nikhil R. Yes, sir. Nilesh. Present, sir. Nirab. Yes, sir. Prajwal Patel. Ten, sir. Okay, Prajwal, yes, but not there. Absent. Okay, Prince. Prince, sir. Okay. Then, uh, Rishabh Pandey. Present, sir. Okay, Rohan. Yes, sir. Okay. Roshan Yadav. Absent, he's not there. Suman Sagar. Yes, sir. Yes. Then Sagar Dat Mathur. Sagar GB. Present, Sanjay sir. Raghav. Present, sir. Charnaya. Absent. Not there. 
Check manan. Is also not there. Show with. Present sir. Okay. Siddharth B. Shankar. Present sir. Right. Siddharth Sridhar. Is not there. Absolutely. Subramanya. Present sir. Okay. Sumuk. Sumuk is not there. Firmana Shetty Rohan. Yes sir. Uh, yes, uh, please uh, complete your records. I will tell the details about uh, what is to be written in uh, this capstone, uh, uh, how it has to be written. I will I'll inform you that. But I, uh, I hope you have all completed by now up to till million because capstone itself is over. Okay. And in the next class, we will. Uh, uh, start with caps mill okay where we how to use caps mill software where we can all generate the program automatically for milling operations okay right yeah thank you thank you sir